Now, we're here to talk about opioids. Raise your hand if you know CPR in this room. So I'd say, yeah, about 60% of the room. Now, raise your hand if you carry naloxone with you everywhere you go. One, two, three, three hands compared to 20 to 30 hands uh, uh, raised for CPR. Where we're sitting right here in Washington, D.C., it is more likely that someone's going to come in this building and say there's an overdose happening on the street than it is that someone's going to come in and say we need you to administer CPR out on the street. So even here, where I'm preaching to the choir, we still aren't where we are. We need to walk the talk. But there is good news. After my advisory came out, and thanks to the efforts of many people in this room, we've seen naloxone prescribing go up over 450% in that time. So thousands, tens of thousands of lives are being saved thanks to your work. The communities that have been able to turn around the opioid overdose epidemic have done it by making naloxone more available as a first step. 